There is mystery beneath the ocean's surface. White caps churning above an unseen world. It's always nice to be challenged by seeing things in nature that we can't explain. Oh, and that was the case in 2014, when researchers with the Monterey Bay Aquarium began noting juvenile white sharks turning up in the Monterey Bay for the first time ever. While very exciting for us, it became kind of problematic for the sea otters. <laughs> Even right offshore here, you can see we have a dozen otters rafting in the kelp. John O'Sullivan, director of collections for the aquarium, said the young sharks were believed to be riding channels of warmer than usual water into the Monterey Bay and taking up residence off the shore of Aptos. We ended up putting 70 tags on juvenile white sharks that collected information on fisheries, their movements along the coast, and oceanographic data. Since then, those tags have logged thousands of hours of data. And by selecting 14 tags, which turned out to be almost over 20 million data points. For the aquarium and its mission of inspiring ocean conservation and knowledge, the idea of sitting on all its newly acquired white shark research became a quandary. Oh, there was a big investment the tags alone cost more than $4,000 each, but in the end, the aquarium took an unusual step in the world of research. In the last few months, we took our 20 years, 70 tags of data uh, and uh, freely released it to the public. The aquarium is now publicly sharing all its shark data with researchers everywhere for free. The information won't just aid in the study of sharks, it'll also help those studying climate change. The tag doesn't know it's specific to white shark. It's collecting data we had programmed it at every 30 seconds to be taking snapshots of temperature and depth and positioning. White shark researcher Salvador Jorgensen says those 20 years of data confirm changes in ocean temperatures. The sea is warming and so we can see because we had this historical uh, data set how things are changing. One of the challenges we face as we move forward due to climate change is we have one protected species, white sharks, being detrimental to the other protected species, sea otters. For the aquarium, which rehabilitates and releases sea otters in the Monterey Bay, the shark research is helping its researchers figure out where not to release them. The last few years, shark bites were the first and second causes of sea otter mortality. The aquarium plans to also soon release data from its studies of other sea creatures like mola mola and dolphins, helping to unravel some of the mysteries unfolding below. Joe Rosado, Jr. They're doing what they do. NBC Bay Area News.